Hi, this is Johanna from The Last Stitch and today I will show you my sewing corner which is situated in the corner of the living room. It's tiny, it's crowded and sometimes it drives me nuts but at least it's a place that I have on my own to do what I enjoy perhaps the most. So, well, follow me and I'll show you. Uh, I start here, which I have is pattern rack for all my basic patterns that I use uh, many times. I mean, usually they're called blocks or slopers, whatever you want. I have plenty of these and I have more that I need to put up here. And next to that, I have a great new addition, which is a rack for the surgery threads. And this was way overdue purchase because for years I had these in just boxes and, you know, it was a mess. I couldn't find the right colours and whatever. So now, nice and orderly, sometimes even colour cornelia when I'm in the mood. Uh, and below that, I have the ruler storage. Yes, I have even my own storage for rulers, because I don't think you can have too many rulers, especially if you do a lot of pattern drafting as well. Especially I like this one, because it has not just rounded shapes, but also a tool for adding seam allowance. And, well, okay, here is another thing that I really like, and uh, this is, um, I bought it at IKEA, the storage unit for the iron. Uh, and, well, what, what else do we have? Well, uh, here, as you can see, I have plenty of these tiny chest drawers that are also from IKEA. And these, I store the majority of the notions, and I have, you know, one for zippers, one for ribbons. Oh, and here I have something that... I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, it's a simple solution, as many of things. Um, this is where I store my regular sewing machine thread, and the thing is, it's nails. So if you flip it up like this, you can see how it looks. Yes, not very pretty, but it does does its job. Uh, and oh, and another thing here is, which I also done a lot of work sorting out, and that is all my buttons. So I have. As you can see here, I have a lot of different plastic boxes, which uh, I have different type of buttons. Um, I have actually two drawers of this, because I have a lot of buttons, so I'm a bit of a shopaholic when it comes to that. And one more notion here, and well, let's talk about sewing machines. And this is my workhorse, uh, Benina, from I think late 80s. It's... Uh, the single reason why I bought this is because of this, it's the digital um, buttonhole, it's an automatic buttonhole, so you can, it repeats the exact same size once you program it right. Love this machine, it works like a charm, it's over 25 years old I think, and it's still just amazing. Uh, the second machine, not quite as amazing, but a compromise, this is one of those uh, multi-purpose surgery so it's it's adjustable so it can either be um, used as cover lock which is the setting right now and as surgery as well switching between them aren't always that fun actually it's usually a bit of hassle but you know mostly a space issue for me well now we will have to go a bit further down because i have used this space to the maximum and therefore we have to be on the floor to see what's next this is where I store my cotton mats. I have four of these and unfortunately I also have to crawl on the floor when I cut the fabrics because I don't have a proper cotton table. That is a dream someday of course. And up here I have another storage unit which I have my elastics, my fusibles and a few other things that I don't really have any other space for. Well, I think that was about it actually. Now you have seen my tiny, tiny sewing corner and seen how I store everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.